you do if you're at a confidence level and you don't have reference value. The ones that are given on the table are 90, 95, and 99. What if you want to calculate a different value for 94%? things we need to do. First we need to find the percent of error. Okay? Ninety four percent means we're ninety confident, but in order to find the Z reference value we do need the error level or what percent of error we think we're going to have. These must add up to a hundred, so a hundred minus the value we want to be confident will give me my error rate of six percent. Next thing I'm going to do is formatted um, 6 divided by 2. Oh, it doesn't like that. It's trying to format it for me. It thinks I'm trying to put it in June 2nd. Anyway, you're going to um, divide 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Next, we're going to turn that into a percent or a decimal. It is a percent, sorry. We're going to turn that percent into a decimal by dividing by a hundred. That gives me a 0.03 percent chance on either end. Remember, six percent is my error rate, but I could be low or high, giving me three percent low, three percent high, or 0 0.03. Next, to find your Z critical value, you want to use Excel. You can use the table in the back of your book, but Excel is much more accurate and easy to use. We just want to go up to our formulas and insert a function. You're looking for N-O-R-M-S-I-N-V. I'm going to write that down. N, oh. Let me write that down for you first. N-O-R-M-S-I-N-V. Now, if you're using Excel 2010, you may find that it has a dot in between the S and the I-N-V, and that's fine. And you're just going to enter in your percent you found as a decimal. We found 0 0.03. Sorry about that. So let's try that again. Norms inverse, 0.03% on each side. And notice I get a negative value, negative 1.88. We want to turn this positive as our last step, so our Z critical value will be 1.88. So that's what you want to do, the steps you want to follow, if you do not have one that's on the table. Find the percent of error by subtracting by 100, divide in half, turn this into a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left or dividing by 100. Use the norms inverse function in Excel to find the critical value and be sure your z value is positive.